Hi, welcome to Lunalogic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a random your person reading. So this will be for some people, but not for all. Okay, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, please not try to make it fit, okay? Um, also keep in mind that everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. This will be for the rest of 2021 and for 2022. So be on the lookout for this. So let's see. Show me the show me the collective person. Show me this the collective person. Okay, this person might be sick. Okay, but also sleeps around. A hoe, free for all, sleeps with your man or woman. This person might okay, someone here might have an S T D as well. Or trail. Or they might be uh have an addiction of some kind. It says deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. You can't trust this person. You cannot trust this person. What else? They're full of drama, total drama action here. If you did keep dealing with this person, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of drama with this from them. Um, this person here is very spoiled and entitled as well. This person is a bugaboo. They will use you for whatever they can, and they will ride that they will ride that shit out to be able to use you. What else? You would already know this. You already have, yeah, this person has fake friends. So if they have somebody in their phone that's listed as a friend that you've never heard of, that person is probably a fake friend. It's probably whomever they've been sleeping with. Okay. Let's see. What else for the collective? But show me this, the collective's person. Whomever this reading is for, show me their person. Yeah, it's possibly someone from their past. That was this person's very toxic. Could be a Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could have in their chart. This person's about to face some type of judgment here. Final decision must be made about this person or about this situation. They're keeping a lot from you. This person's desperately unhappy. Um, yeah, they're hiding the fact that they have new love prospects or new romantic partners here that they need to make a decision about. They're very toxic, very obsessive. Could even be very controlling person. You would know this. You would, would have suspected this already. That they're hiding a lot. What is this sun reverse? Show me the sun reverse. Show me the sun reverse. Yeah, they're at a crossroads here. They have to make a decision between two people that they're hiding from you. Um, they can be very, very jealous with the queen of wands in reverse. Very jealous. Very much not on their stuff. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you could be dealing with. Or a Capricorn. Or a Scorpio. They could have it in their chart. You could have it in your chart. But let's see. This person has to make a decision about another woman that they've been communicating with, possibly from their past. Tell me more about what's hidden. Tell me more about what this person is hiding. That they're, they're juggling you. Um, that they create fights in order to be able to go see this person or to talk to this person. Or they talk to this person about you guys' fights and arguments. Bottom of the deck. They have the three of cups here. Insincere about coming back together with you. They're going to get caught right-handed with the seven of swords reverse. They could also be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Trying to, get, to, trying to have a leap of faith here with a earth sign as well or an Aries. But they're emotionally manipulative and controlling or abusive with this person or with you. I don't know where you fall on this. If this is you're the earth sign or the fire sign here. Someone here is not remorseful here about being non-committal. They're very jealous, though, and somewhat of a con artist. It's going to take you great strength to hold back from this person and just stay in your power here and do the healing work. It's going to take you great strength. You might have to leave this person out in the cold, or this person might have ghosted you, and you're confused about why, but the cycle it hasn't completed itself. They might try to come in and offer you something here, but I think you're reluctant to, to take it because you realize it, there's no real cooperation here. You're struggling to move on from this person or this person struggling to move on. There's a lot of mental torment here. Someone might actually have a family. They might have a wife, the kids, or, you know, a husband and, you know, kids or whatever. There's a lot you don't know about this person. There could very well be a married couple here. And one of the partners is very noncommittal, even though they're actually in a committed marriage or relationship. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to learn how to vape so I can uh, eventually quit smoking. So, wish me luck. What else do we need to know about this person? This person's got you all up in your head, though, and they're doing it on purpose. 
<sighs> this person uh, makes a lot of wish has a lot of wishful thinking, but makes a lot of false promises and false hope here. Just wanted to come out. Yeah, you're wishing f for a message from this person to balance something out, to make something right, but I don't think that they're capable of making something right with you. I feel like you might be wishfully thinking about this person to come back and balance something out. Or you're hoping and wishing that someone's going to tell you that they're getting a divorce, but they're not. Yeah, or you want them to come home and balance something out. Maybe this person left you kind of desolate here, and you want them to come back home. I don't think they're going to. Um, to be honest, let me see. Spirit, what deck don't use? Mm, okay. One second. What else about this person, please? Or this situation? What else? Yeah, you're just waiting and waiting and waiting for this person to come back around. Or to come back home. You feel trapped and bound to this person. Yeah, you feel, you feel stagnant. You feel left out. You feel trapped in the house while this person is going out and partying. I feel like I'm picking up on two, three different people's energy. I feel like I'm picking up on the third party's energy, picking up the person who has the third party, and the person who's waiting at home, feeling trapped at home while the other person goes out and parties and does whatever they want to do. So take it as it resonates, okay? Place yourself where it fits if it does. Only if it does. What else? Show me. Yeah, this person has a big ego here because they have money. They think they can do whatever they want because they have money here. They have a lot of female friends here. Or they think that they can do whatever they want because they provide for you. They think that they can have, they buy, they buy female friends. Or they buy women. Or they, that's what they try to do. It's an, it's an arrogance thing. This person may be sick. Literally, we got sick again. Sick of the lies. Or you're sick of the lies. Someone here is sick of the lies. And the despair over someone's pride and ego and arrogance here. You're waiting for communication for something to be either confirmed or denied. You wait. Maybe you have a friend that's going to help you confirm something. Cause, or maybe the, mm, your friend could be sleeping with your person. This is spicy. It's very juicy. Um, your mother's very loyal to you, but she's also lying to you about love. The message, she doesn't want to tell you this, though, that she knows that someone's been cheating on you. Your mother may know the truth about somebody, but she doesn't want to tell you. So she's telling you half-truths here. You have, this person is a uh, male enemy. This person is not your your true love. This person is not somebody you can really trust. Let's see who could this else be dealing with. Who else is this? Who else could be doing this or involved? We got Virgo. We got Scorpio. A Leo. Oh, this this one right here they said, okay. A Capricorn and an Aquarius possibly. Also, we got Libra at the bottom of the deck and Gemini. We'll take it. All right. Let's see. What guidance do you have? What guidance do you have uh, for whomever needs it? Who's watching this? Trust. Okay. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. But I feel like you need to have faith and trust in yourself. Yeah. Your love children. Your love life is being affected by children. Someone could be pregnant or you guys have children together. You're calling in your soulmate, though. The one who's, yeah, soulmate. You're calling in your soulmate you're tr who's really worth waiting for. But they want you to learn how to love yourself first in order to attract this person, okay? The, the person who really is meant to love you. Not this person who's betraying you and hurting you and keeping you trapped. What else for guidance, please? Have faith in your dreams. Keep the faith in your dreams, okay, by what you want outside of this person. Keep going for it. Bring love into the situation. I feel like this is talking about self-love here. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay? So, whomever's reading this is, I got called by Spirit to do this random reading. I'm very sorry that you're going through such a difficult 
very frustrating. It feels like very upsetting type of scenario with someone that has just been, it feels like it's been an ongoing situation where this person like comes home and then disappears again. Like they come home, disappear. And when, when they're not with you, I want you to know they're with someone else. Okay. Anytime you have a fight, they go to that person. Sometimes they even start fights in order to leave to go to this person. So, please keep that in mind. Um, whomever this reading resonates for, this person that you're dealing with deals with a lot of people. They could be bringing home an STD. So, please, I'm not a doctor, but please get checked out. Okay, seriously. Um, you, and if you have children, deserve better. Please know that. You really do. Um... You deserve to be respected. This person does not respect you. Okay. And what you guys have had or and or have built. If it's marriage or just a long term committed relationship. Or what you thought was. Like it feels like one person here has been very faithful to the relationship. While one person has like not been faithful at all. It feels like. This reading would get me a little choked up. Because it's whomever this reading is for. You're struggling. You're struggling pretty hard. Just know that you will be okay. Whatever you do, whatever decision that you make, you're going to be okay. I promise. I just know it. Okay? You, you'll be okay. It's just whatever situation or if this is your situation you're dealing with, it's, how do I say, it's beneath you. You know what I'm saying? Like you deserve so much, so much more, so much better. You deserve that from others, but most importantly, you deserve it from yourself. Okay. Well, I really hope this reading helps you. I'll keep whomever this is in my prayers. I don't know who this is for, but I will keep you in my prayers and, um, and root for you. Okay. For you to get through this. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, the information will be in the description box below. So please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, please take care.